Everyone, what's up? I'm here with my boy Greg Javesi, aka what's your name? Hardcore Crypto, something like that. Hardcore Crypto on YouTube. Go follow him on social media. Great like BTC on, on on the Instagrams and all, everything. By the way, you ever told me where you got that name from? Which one? Hardcore Crypto. Hardcore Crypto. So I used to I used to to do. I used to be a troll on the internet. I like trolls. <laughs> it's Scamming. one of my favorite things. All the talks, no do guys, <laughs> scammers. So I used to be on Reddit and you know being a troll and things, or even on YouTube comments. So my pseudonym was uh, kind of hardcore. Hardcore. It just you be hardcore crypto. So when I started the the, hard, the hardcore crypto channel, before it was even hardcore crypto, when I started making the videos, I was like ah. So on which channel am I gonna put these videos now? I don't want to put it on my under my real name because I want to separate that from my actual brand. Okay. And then I just like hardcore and I just put crypto at the end. And then you got into the scam of crypto, where you lost half your net worth or even more probably. No, I actually have made way more money than I've, I've lost. I haven't lost anything. You know, uh, it depends on how you do your math. And if you want to do math right now, I'm good with that. And then we got youth, which we won't talk about. Um, love you, boy. Anyways, so we're here to talk about two, one activist and one uh, politician. It is Alexandra Cortez and William, Elizabeth Williams, who I'm sure you guys know the Robin Hood theory, which take from the rich, give to the poor. That doesn't work. So they want to increase taxes on anyone who has an income of over $10 million dollars. Uh, to about 70%. So let's hear what you have to say about that. 70% from the rich? From the rich. Anyone who earns over $10 million. So I, be, I believe of this theory or principle of skin in the game. If you say something, you must also be at a position for you to lose in the deal. For you. As an example, if you say that everybody with a net worth of over $10 million should be losing 70% seventy percent of their net worth to uh, to taxes, then you should also be worth over ten million yourself. So that when exactly. that is applied, you will lose too. Right? And what so can we see from this? Go search, go search Elizabeth Williams' net worth. Her whole her whole entire net worth is like seven hundred k. So she's not going to lose jack shit. Seven hundred k means that she probably doesn't even have a hundred. Exactly, that's time. not close to her salary. And then you get this activist, which is probably broke completely broke so which makes sense why they would say that because they don't know how to make money they probably will never make money so why not take it from everyone else because we don't know but looking at it from at it from a financial standing point what happens when a government raises tax brackets the, uh, the economy will grow a certain expectation the governments will start using more money and when that tax bracket isn't filled by the rich and it won't because the rich always pay very little tax due to credit cards due to debt, due to assets and all that, who do you think it's going to lay on? The so so it's, a, it's a cycle. So you only have one cycle actually. One or two, you wouldn't get on the third one. When the first one, like you say, the government gets bigger. They have, more, or they have too much money, they're collecting. So in that fir first phase, everybody's going to think that things are doing great. Oh, look, we got now the government have more budget. Yeah. Right. When that money run, runs out, now the problem starts happening. Now they have to tax more on everyone. Yeah, they exactly. To make things meet, they, they employ more people. The government people don't know how to make money. They just know how to lose it. And what happens to people who know how to lose money? In real life, they're broke. In government, they're not broke because they collect taxes. Right. And that's exactly my point. Like you here standing in front of this was this was said. Both of them said this at the Davos World Economic Forum. Um, they had an opportunity to speak in front of global leaders. What do they try to do? Speak about something that doesn't work. Once again, the rich are just going to use their credit cards and everything to take away their tax. And the best part is, why do you think a lot of the rich people do charities, um, will sponsor events and all that? Because not only is that all tax deductible, if they can prove it's for business, it's also growing their credit score. So they're technically making money and not taking paying taxes at the same time but then if this train was 70 percent of taxes you can try to dodge however one however way you want as a company or as a business you're still gonna pay more taxes than you do right now so it's important to point out that when you when you do things like that people are still gonna suffer yeah right? so even if you know the only thing you can do is buy Bitcoin. No, 
There, there, I'm gonna disagree. But we always we've had a long-standing disagreement. Buy about Bitcoin. This. You own. You own it. Not government printed. You know, it's nobody knows how much you got. Now it is. What happens when it starts starts actually? If, if the government comes to, to and see <laughs> this money counter over here, my favorite toy, money counter. They will suspect me. Where's the money, some... bro? Where's the money? I see the money. Do you have a money counter? Who do you know who is watching this going money counter right now? I promise you none. If anybody got it, come put it in the comment. Possibly, but I bet a lot of people are gonna be watching this have have stats to go through this. I'm the only guy with it. Do they have a money counter or not? No. If the government come to, to, to and see this in my house, they'll be like, we have to investigate this guy. Yeah, and then you're fucked. Because <laughs> all of your drugs and your bullshit scams and all that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Every, everything. Look, look, whatever it takes to, to make money. I and mean, people say, oh, you poison. Or the, the meat you eat, it's too bad. Or the, most of the medicine you're buying out there, they're terrible for you, but they sell, they sell it to you. So who is the bad guy? Yeah, there's no no one safe. Which is probably why they're trying to increase taxes, but it's also don't think it's gonna be so easy on taxes, the poor when the rich is, people are taxed with. Anybody who rackets. think about taking away the government is the problem, not the solution. So if you thinking of collecting more tax money just to give it to the government, it's like dude, you are taking money from someone who knows how to make it and giving it to the hands of a fool who has never made money in his life. What so take money and give it to a street guy or a high school kid who is just you know all about going to the club and everything? What are they gonna do with your money? If you can take fifty percent of your net worth and give it to a the most idiotic person you know in your life, then if you can do that, and then maybe you and tell me that you want to raise taxes, it's because it's the same thing, right? And at this point, I'll just add that's why I, that's why I believe presidents should have some sort of a net worth and have some sort of a skin in the finance game. Mm. That is why, and I can think of a I can think of a lot of people who are not gonna like what I say, but Trump. especially one person. <laughs> I'm not gonna name her name, but we were speaking about the other day. And um, yeah, you'll know who it is when you watch this video. Presidents should be have some sort of amount of wealth because they know what to do once taxes come in and how to actually manage a country in an alternative where people who've never made any money or who've never dealt with finance or anything only have that degree, have no skin in the game and therefore just doesn't count. Yeah, that's but it, we'll guys. like to hear your opinions, guys. Bitcoin basically. is the best thing in the world. Okay. You, you, the tax man ain't gonna come for you. Grog Cardone, tell us the truth. We'll tag you in this. Real estate or Bitcoin? What's gonna make you rich? No, no, it's not about just getting rich. It's about free financial freedom. Financial and freedom really means financial freedom. Uh, if you, look, you can do real estate, I love real estate. But you have to, to know where you are. It's like, I mean, to me, buying a house is not real estate. No, that's not real estate. That's not even an investment. So right now, I'm not, I'm not at, at a position to buy 20, 30 units of, 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 of real estate. I can't do it. I don't have the money. So in the meantime, I'll, you know, crypto to the moon. Financial freedom, I can travel. But get rid of money. Once you make money, get rid of it. Otherwise, you're so going to spend much it on go, the go, go, like to, go to greatabc.com and bring all your money to me. Because when you make the money, like I say, you have to lose it so that you're broke again. And you have to, to, to start making it again. And so come to emojimotion.com, emojimotion.com, and then bring the money to me. Or and one thing about him, you might not like him, but I've never seen him lose money. That's a fact. I never lose money. <laughs> I never lose money. <laughs> but I still hate cool. this motherfucker. Cool, guys. Cheers. Hardcore Crypto, subscribe, and yeah, have fun.